All right, you guys, so I um, accidentally forgot to film the first part of this. I am making some dill pickle powder in my freeze dryer and I have one batch, a canner load of pickles I made last year that I got distracted and let them go like five minutes too long and they were a little softer than what we like. So I use those to make my slushy here. Um, I just dumped them straight in, liquid and all. That brine you do pickles in has a lot of the flavor, so I wanted to leave that. Um, and I just blessed it up in my blender. I have my freeze dryer going outside, um, getting the cooling part done. And I'm just going to, um, I left the trays out there. What I'm gonna do is pour these straight on the trays out there and not pull them all the way out. It's just easier to do it without spilling if you fill the trays that way. So um, I'm gonna go out and do that. Out and pouring some of this in. And I need to spread it around a bit. I will get back. We'll get a spoon out to do that. We'll come back. Let me get this out of the blender first. It does appear that my blender is leaking a little bit. You guys my um my pickles just came out of the freeze dryer it took a little over 24 hours um more like a day and a half i have decided i just tried this it's working out so that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna use this like little um kind of smoothie type blender um to blend it up real small i noticed in the pans i don't know if you can see on camera like the white in here the uh, some things separated out and I thought maybe that would be the salt, but I tasted it. I'm pretty sure that's some of the vinegar. Um, but I'm gonna kind of, it has a different texture than I thought. It almost looks kind of webby, like spider webby. But I'm just gonna get this stuff into my little mixer here and pulverize it. I will say this is probably the messiest thing I've done as far as what sticks to the mats. It still comes off easy. I can run it right under water. It'll come off, but it's just, um, I haven't seen anything so far do that quite the same way. All that powder I don't want to breathe in. I feel like some magic effects. That's what it looks like. Don't know if you can see it. I'm holding it right. But it's very powdery now. There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna get the other two trays. I did three trays, let me get the other two into here and blitzed up as well. I've done it a few times it has gotten even powderier if that's a word and it's like a nice good texture for sprinkling on popcorn even on chicken stuff like that so three trays which was that was half my load was three jars of pickles makes something we can measure here 
This is a pint jar. About half a pint. A little under half a pint of powder. That's okay, we won't go through it that fast, but that's, it's amazing how much stuff shrinks down when it's either dehydrated or freeze dried. If you try this, let me know and I'll see you on the next one.